Hey guys, it's Kaz here, okay, Cats and Camera, and today I'm going to be talking about this series that I either want to finish or continue or read. Yes. So because this isn't a wrap up and it's not a haul, I'm not going to be going crazy into all these synopsises for these series because there's several. So if you want to find out more then check them out on Goodreads I guess. So last year I did like the resolution book tag or something which had loads of questions and then you put a book in it and it makes a TBR. But I didn't want to do that this year because some of the questions were stuff that I didn't really like. Like a classic you want to read this year. I don't really like classics. I don't want to have to put that on my TBR and then not read it at the end of the year and then be like no I didn't complete that. So yeah all these stuff are things that I want to read so therefore should get to. First I'm going to talk about stuff that you've already heard on one of my other videos. So I want to reread the All For The Game series. This is going to be a buddy read with Sage, I'll leave their channel down below if you want to check them out. So yeah, I read this for the first time last year, absolutely loved it, so I want to read them again. Next up I have the duology, I don't know if this has a name, probably not. The Openly Straight duology. So the first one will be a reread and the second one I haven't read yet. And there's a novella as well. In between here so I want to read these. It will actually be a nice change to reread the first book when I read a second one because normally if there's a massive space like a year between books I just never get around to rereading the first one and then I'm like what is going on? So it will be good to actually have a fresh image of what happened in the first book for once when I read the second. And finally in the books that you've already heard about from my goals video I want to reread the first three volumes of Deadly Class and then read the fourth one for the first time and then hopefully get the fifth one as well because that's already out so yeah let's say yeah I'm going to read the fifth one as well. So next on my list is to finish the Chaos Walking series so I read the first book The Knife and Never Letting Go last year, enjoyed it so I want to carry on and finish the next two books because I really like Patrick Ness and it'll be nice to see where this series goes after the first book. I went into this having absolutely no knowledge of what the series was even about and turns out it's good and it's interesting and it's about people that can read each other's mind and can hear what everybody else is thinking. So yeah, I want to see where this goes and what the conclusion is going to be. Next I have the Shiver series by Maggie Stiefvater. I read The Raven Cycle, absolutely love it. Don't think this is going to be as good, but I still want to read it because Maggie Steve Otter. So this is about werewolves. It's probably going to be a little bit more cliche and a little bit teen angsty, but even if she's this is half as good as The Raven Cycle, I'm going to enjoy it. So yes, want to get to this one this year. Next up, I want to finish The Kane Chronicles. This is the series by Rick Riordan. I read The Red Pyramid last year. Didn't like it, but I have the other two so I want to finish it. Hopefully the series gets better because this one is such a letdown <laughs> compared to all other Rick Riordan books. But I'm not going to just bin it off. I'm going to see where it takes us. I didn't absolutely hate it. I just didn't really care about it. So hopefully the next two books will make me care. Next, I want to finish the Death Note series. I've read up to, I think I've read up to volume 5 last year. I only have up to 7 in my possession, but obviously I'm going to buy the rest of the series. But, yeah, I want to get this one finished. It's really enjoyable. It's one of those series where stuff happens and then some completely left field happens and you don't know where the story is going to take us, so I'm looking forward to seeing where this one goes. Still quite a few volumes left, so basically anything could happen. And we shall see. Or I shall see. Maybe you've already seen, you might have already read it. And if not, check it out because it is really good. And last but not least, we have the Shadows of the App series. I'm not holding them all here. Well, basically, this is a series that my sister lent me like literally two years ago. And <laughs> I finished book two at the end of last year. And I really enjoyed it. The story is so complex and there's so many different characters. And if you like fantasy series, then definitely check this one out. There's 10 books in it, but. I'm going to I'm gonna cop out and say I want to read at least up to the halfway point so I want to get to at least have read book five this year. I feel like I could do more but I don't want to say I'm going to read them all and they're not so I'm definitely going to read up to book five this year. I've not said much about anything else but I'm just going to say a bit more about these because I've literally never heard anybody talk about them on booktube before. This is a fantasy series where all the different people have sort of bug powers. There's all these different kingdom, so the ant kingdom can all talk to each other in their mind and the beetle kingdom 
they're a bit crap at flying but they're really good at making and building stuff and then we have the wasp kinden who can fire like powerful shots out of the hand stings they can fly we have the fly kinden who are smaller they're like three foot something and then they can fly and it's just really cool there's so many different things uh mantis kinden who have like the the mantis claws stabby things and they're really good at fighting Basically, if you think about any sort of bugs, then there's that sort of kinder, and it's just really cool and it's so unique that I really want to get to it. And also, the great thing about this, obviously I'm only on book two, well I'm not on book two, I've read book two, but the the goodies and the baddies, everybody is kind of grey, I guess. You hear from the, the bad side, the wasps are basically invading and want to take over the lowlands, will be the officers and talk about them and they're just doing their job and the people in the armies they're just they're just people in armies like every other army in the world they're just doing their job they're doing what they're told by their higher rankings and it's just really cool because it's not just like this evil force is trying to make people do stuff and they're trying to take over the world you actually get to see the other side of it which is cool so yes they are all the series that I want to read I have another video don't know if I'm putting it up before or after this I'll link it below either way but that'll be other books that are not just like a series so yes either check that one out or come back in a few days and check that out I don't know which one's going up first so tell me down below if you've read any of these or what books you're interested in reading in 2018 what series you want to get to or finish if this is your first video I mean you enjoy it then please check out some of my others and if you continue to enjoy them then please subscribe that'd be awesome anyway guys I'll see you in a few days with another video